Thank you for joining us today and I hope to see you again at our future events. Good evening everyone. I would like to, to begin by respectfully acknowledging the Gadigal people of the Enora Nation as the traditional owners and custodians of the land on which we stand. We pay our respects to their elders, both past and present. Before, before I begin, I would like to thank Sharala Com Primitive Limited for their generous support of this event, sponsorship, and also the women who've cooked that lovely food. <laughs> very yes. lovely food. It's very good. Delicious. I only found out today that it's, um, they, there's a group of them, they cook in Western Sydney and then they send it here and we all eat this. Every time we have an event, we have this wonderful Turkish food, so thank you. Thank you for organising that, Amit. Hello everyone and welcome to another Affinity and this time it's an A Youth Lecture Series. And my name is Cathy Ahir and I'm a Senior Lecturer at UTS. Uh, for those who have never attended an Affinity event before, let me int briefly introduce you to the organisation. Affinity was formed by a group of young Muslims, in, um, Australian Muslims, in 2000. Their aim it was and is to promote multiculturalism and foster intercultural and interfaith dialogue by building bridges between the different groups of society. And to give you a brief idea of the wonderful work that Affinity does, they've put together a short video that recaps some of the events from 2017 and 18, and would like to share that with you now. Australia is a warm, welcoming, open country. Having respect for all people, regardless of race, regardless of religion, regardless of gender, and very, very importantly, regardless of a, the colour of a person's skin. People of all kinds are, are seeing the differences, I think, a little more clearly. For me, it's about returning to the lived experience that, that people have on, on race and ensuring that we live up to the best of our traditions as a country. And the culture that they set will be the culture they inherit. To be able to share more information, whether it's intelligence or case management material, whatever it is, faster and better. In addition, uh, the Department of Social Services is working closely with other departments like employment, education and training, human services and immigration and border protection on improving employment outcomes for humanitarian entrants. And this has got to be the largest number that we've had here. The night is about you and us uh, and as a community. Learning from each other, that's what Australia allows us to do. We are working together to make New South Wales safer. In fact, we have done that for many, many years. As we've come from so many other lands that we were able to meet here as one. We are the most culturally diverse country in the world. Uh, we all learn a little bit more about ourselves and about our community. Ramadan is that time of year that Muslims go deep. They reset the clock, take extra time to consciously reflect on their lives and reaffirm their commitment to God and to the precious bonds that connect us all as family and brothers and sisters in humanity. Courage, you know, dedication, you know, makes um, sense of a sense of fairness. What we have seen and experienced by words and music this evening are the sort of things that hold us together and enable us to move forward together. Encourage and give everyone responsibility. A great career and it's wonderful to see them in the context of a great organisation, Affinity. First of all, I'd like to thank our sponsors here, especially uh, Mr Ahmed Polat. Thank you so much. Thank you too to the Foundation uh, for the opportunity to be here. Faith is so profoundly important for our development and humanitarian work. Because we've got some expertise here uh, that is, uh, when it's brought together, is extremely valuable. So I asked the Vice President Global of Education for Microsoft why. 
and those are the values that I would continue uh, to advocate being taught in law schools in this country. Uh, from a UN report describes Yemen as now the world's worst humanitarian crisis. Thank you all for, um, for being here. Thank you, Ahmed, and uh, the Affinity team uh, for allowing me to, to speak, ladies and gentlemen. It's an absolute honour to be here tonight to help launch an exciting new lecture series focused on young people. Well, thank you very much for having me. Um, Barack and the Affinity Intercultural Foundation, um, I'd like to acknowledge the fantastic work that you do in the community and um, bringing different cultures and people of different religious backgrounds together. I think it's fantastic. How human rights safeguards children and young people. This is indeed a commendable goal and I'm delighted to be here today to be part of that dialogue. In my view, Affinity is doing excellent work to inform and advance multicultural Australia to keep peace in this country. Congratulations to Affinity. Thank you, Affinity, for this wonderful opportunity. I, with Sev, laud the work of Affinity. Uh, there is no other organization working in the field of interreligious relation that does it the way they do it and promote actual encounter of an ordinary sort between people of all sorts of diversities. I think it's heartwarming. It's one of the few things in life that really continue to give me hope and joy. Thank you for joining us today and I hope to see you again at our future events. Thank you so much. So you can see they do a lot of work. So tonight I'd, I'd like to introduce you today, today to this uh, to our facilitator, Kathleen Calderwood, which she's over there. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, Kathleen um, is ABC's News Western Sydney reporter. In 2017, she was given the prestigious Andrew Ollie Scholarship and worked for 730, Late Line and um, Landline. And before moving to Sydney, uh, she reported on regional Queensland for four years. So she's a very special lady coming from Queensland as well as being connected um, in journalism. So may uh, please join me in welcoming <laughs> Kathleen. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> 